Additional menu one of three allows access to the most used options. These options are burn mode, cleaning prompts, diagnostics, feed limit, igniter, room fan, schedule, and test. Burn mode allows you to select how you want the stove to operate. To adjust, select room sensing or constant burn on the burn mode screen. Room sensing is the recommended burn mode setting. Refer to your owner's manual for detailed descriptions. Press the home icon. Adjust the temperature if in room sensing mode or the burn rate sidebar if in constant burn. The cleaning prompt screen displays the percentage of time that has accumulated since the last cleaning. When it reaches 100%, you will get messages on the home screen to perform that specific maintenance. If you perform a maintenance task before being alerted by the prompt, this screen allows you to manually reset the cleaning prompt. Press the check mark to reset. Resetting the maintenance sets it back to 0% and tells the control to start calculating until the next cleaning is needed. You will be prompted to scrape the burn pot and empty the ashes after one week of burning and completely clean the unit and venting after each ton. There are six pages of diagnostic information that may be helpful to you. The data on these screens are for reference only and cannot be changed within the diagnostic screens. If you call your Harman dealer with questions, this data will help the dealer troubleshoot your stove. The feed limit screen allows you to adjust the amount of fuel being fed to the burn pot. The factory default for this is 75%, which is best for most pellets. To adjust, move the slider bar by tapping or sliding it to the desired adjustment. Decrease your feed limit if you see unburned pellets falling into the ash pan. Increase your feed limit to maintain approximately one inch of completely burned pellets on the burn pot. Quality of pellets is what causes the need for this adjustment. On the igniter screen, you can select the method of ignition and shutdown. There are two modes, automatic and disabled. Refer to your owner's manual for detailed descriptions. The room fan screen gives you two choices to control the way warm air enters the room. The default is automatic fan. Automatic fan allows the stove to automatically adjust the amount of warm air entering the room. Manual fan allows you to set your desired fan percentage rate between off and maximum. The schedule screen gives you the ability to set the temperatures you want your home to be throughout the day. Here's how. Press set schedule, which will take you to the set scheduling screen. Set the schedule for all seven days of the week as follows. Press set schedule. Tuesday, set the wake time, set the temperature, choose whisper mode to be on or off, repeat for away, home, and sleep. To copy this day's schedule, press copy, then choose the day for this schedule. Press paste into each day that you want the schedule. To review schedule, press the review icon, then press any block to edit if needed. Press schedule on or schedule off icon. When scheduling is on, a small clock icon will show up on the top right of the home screen. You can choose to change any of these settings at any time. If you unplug your stove at the end of the heating season, the touch control will remember your schedule setting. Scheduling will not work in constant burn mode. Constant burn will override scheduling to maintain the consistent burn you set. The day and time must be set for scheduling to function. The test screen allows you to test the functionality of individual components. To test the room fan, the first touch turns the fan to maximum setting. The second touch reduces the fan to its minimum setting. The third touch turns the fan off. For the combustion fan, the first touch turns the fan to full RPMs. The second touch turns the fan to its maximum setting. The third touch reduces the fan to its minimum setting. The fourth touch turns it off. 
To test the feed motor, the first touch automatically turns on the combustion fan to activate the pressure switch. To end the test, touch the feed motor, then touch the combustion fan three times to turn it off. To test the igniter, the first touch automatically turns on the combustion fan to activate the pressure switch. To end the test, touch the igniter, then touch the combustion fan three times to turn it off. Using the feed motor test, you can purge the auger for the first time startup by pressing feed motor, which will allow the pellets to reach the entrance of the burn pot. Press the feed motor icon again to end the feeding of pellets. Running the combustion fan on max while cleaning helps to keep dust from entering your room.